This month makes it 11 years when I decided to start a business and build a company. Most parts of my last decade have been nothing but painfully exciting. I'm not sure I can ever again willingly go through anything as tough as I've been through in the last 11 years. However, though building a company has been the toughest decision of my life, it has also brought the most fulfilling life for me. In today's video, I want to look back and check what single attribute I think makes entrepreneurs succeed. If you're new here, you may want to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. The Story of Entrepreneurship One day in the city of nowhere, some young children went to the wisest man in town and asked him, The wise one, we want to know our future. Can you tell us the profession that can suit us? The wise one answered, Sure, but I will need you to stay in my house till tomorrow evening. The children agreed to stay in the wise man's house. So the next morning, the wise one called all the ten children and announced to them, This morning, you all get three slices of bread. You have the liberty to eat all, but if you wish to keep one, you'll get two more for the one you keep in the afternoon, and if you wish to keep two, you'll get five in the afternoon for the two you keep. Five hours later, the wise one called for a meeting to confirm who out of the children kept their bread. Seven out of the ten children ate every bread they were given. Two kept one and one of the kids kept two slices of bread. The wise one said to the seven children who ate all the slices of bread they were given, You have to stay with me a few more days for me to know whom you would likely become. To the two who kept one slice of bread, the wise one said, This is your future. You'll rise to become the managers and CEOs of some big companies. To the single child who kept two out of the three slices of bread, the wise one said, This is your future. You'll build a great company. You see, the single most important attribute of every successful entrepreneur is the ability to keep two out of three slices of bread. The number one reason why most people can never become successful entrepreneurs is because they can't delay gratification. If you can't delay gratification, you can become an entrepreneur. Patience is old school Our forefathers were lucky in one sense. They lived at a time when patience was needed for everything. Our great-grandfathers had to walk miles with their foot because only the rich could afford cars. For them to communicate with their family who is in the next city, they had to write letters and wait patiently for a month or two before they get a reply. They were farmers and that meant that they had to plant, nurture and patiently wait for the harvest. Because almost everything in their life required patience, they made patience their habit. Today, we have everything faster than the speed of light. Do you want a new phone? You can press some buttons and Amazon brings it to your door. You want to communicate with your friends in Asia, Africa or Europe? Don't worry, you can reach any one of them within 10 seconds via social media. Do you want to be rich? Well, just listen to what the guru has to say. They have magic you can use to make a million dollars next month, but you have to pay them a few dollars to get the secrets. <laughs> That's what the guru said. Now, we live in the age of no patience. We live in an age where nobody wants to wait for anything, not even success as an entrepreneur. We live in an age where everyone wants success, but we want it now. And with this mindset, you cannot build a successful business because building a business is like building a skyscraper. It takes months of planning and preparation and sometimes years of building. If you are not patient, you can't build a business. The World of Materialism I strongly believe that most people in the world are sick in the head. I mean, I've seen enough stupidity to believe this is true. I've seen people who buy phones as expensive as their one month salary. People buy cars as expensive as their entire yearly income. People live in homes they can't afford. People buy expensive wristwatches just to show that they have arrived. To me, something is wrong with the world. I mean, how can people dig their own grave and bury themselves? But let's talk about entrepreneurship. You see, starting a business is like having a child. 
or 10 children because it's that expensive. When you have 10 children, you don't think about your personal needs, do you? If you have 10 children, would you earn $5,000 a month and spend $1,500 on a phone? If you have 10 children, would you earn $5,000 a month and use $3,000 to buy a watch? If you have 10 children, would you go and live in the most expensive island in your country where you use 70% of your income to pay rent? You probably won't do that. So it is that if you want to be an entrepreneur, you must behave as if you have 10 children and those 10 children are your businesses. Your business must be more important to you than your comfort. Your business must be more important to you than driving a beautiful car. Your business must be more important to you than what other people will say about you. You must be able to keep two out of three slices of bread. You must be able to delay gratification or else you won't have success as an entrepreneur. Living for tomorrow I have a friend who is an employee. For many years, I was poorer than him. I was poorer than him because I invested every dollar I had until he spent every dollar he had on phones, furniture and a big wedding. Today, I'm 10 times richer than him but he will think it's luck. Well, it's deliberate. Entrepreneurship is about living in the future. Can you sacrifice 10 years of your life so that you'll live the rest of your life like a king? Can you sacrifice 5 years of your life so that you can live like a prince thereafter? If you can't keep 2 out of 3 slices of bread, you can't be an entrepreneur. If you are less than 25 as you watch this video, you should be willing to sacrifice the next one decade to live like no one so that you'll thereafter live like no one. If you're in your 30s, you should be able to sacrifice 5 years of your life to be who you really want to be. If you're older, you still have to sacrifice. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. That's another name for entrepreneurship. Can you keep 2 out of 3 slices of bread? If you can't keep 2 out of 3 slices of bread, you can never be an entrepreneur. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.